If you have Thank something you. you want me to talk about on Wikipedia, you can tweet it at me if you like, but not too much because that's a bit annoying. Yeah. <laughs> also, while we're talking about being tweeted things that are annoying, Ooh. we know that Dave Benson Phillips did a wrestling match. Thank you. Yeah. What? Dave Benson Phillips did a wrestling match? Thank you. You can stop telling us now. Us. Also, Thank we've you. all seen we've seen the that picture. tweet from 2011 with Billy Ray Billy Cyrus Ray. sat there saying much to think about. We've seen it. Yeah. We, we're aware. We He's been doing the rounds but recently. Did, but did, but did, did you know Dave Benson Phillips was a wrestler? I did. I've, I'm so I'm so aware. Are did you, you, know, you Ben from what culture? Yes, I am. Have you left what culture? Yes, I have. Did you know that uh, Billy Ray has much to think about? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to know how many times we've been tweeted about the Dave Benson Phillips wrestling it's thing. It's got to be almost triple figures now. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a lot. We thank get you it everyone almost for every day. Us know. Yeah, thank you, but, but it's it, time to PSA, stop. we know. Do we, get in touch if Neil Buchanan starts wrestling or Mr. Yeah. Blobby. But yeah, but just we, once. Let us you know, know if you've Dave. seen his band, Marseille. Oh. If you've seen Neil B- I think it's called Marseille. Marseille. Yeah, nice. like the French city. Oh, After um, uh, yeah, Neil Buchanan's band. If you've seen it, I don't know why you would. Just <laughs> yell, this is an art attack. This, this is an art attack. attack. Until he just gets loads of salt shakers out and makes an art on the floor. <laughs> he does a big Neil Bukaki all over the floor. Oh, he makes oh. a big boo cake for everyone to share. Yeah. Thanks. Right, next question. This is from, speaking of DBP, and Neil Buchanan. Oh. Max Ooh. Springer. At Max underscore Springer 2. Thank you, Max. Shag, Mary Kill, Neil Buchanan, <laughs> Dave Benson Phillips, Noel Edmonds. Fuck. So Noel Edmonds, of course. Kill. Kill. R- you think? Yeah. Well, he's he's a bit mental at the moment, but he was Mr. Blobby, which is, you know, a very exciting thing. Wait, was he Mr. Blobby? I don't at think... various times he was. Sometimes yeah. he was, but okay. he he's often... not the real Mr. Blobby. I've shown you those clips, right? I had yeah. a VHS. I had an unmarked VHS <laughs> Blobby, in the least. drawer at my parents, which was like... The weirdest Mr. Blobby tape I've ever seen because it had swearing in. Yeah. It was bleeped, but it was it was like loads of bloopers and outtakes from children's UK children's TV show Mr. Blobby, and he was like falling over and his <laughs> his head was like like hinging backwards, yeah. like the helmet hinged backwards, and there was Showing the man. Noel Edmonds, and he was just going Blobby, 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 <laughs> and like the footballer he was with that was showing him how to kick a ball was like pissing himself. Oh, and he fell over the goal and broke it. Yeah, the goal kept falling on his head. He kept yelling fuck as yeah. this. and this is the weirdest tape I've ever seen you showed us this and I'm picturing it so vividly it's on YouTube yeah. it is on YouTube it's like um, I can't remember, link it might be Andy Cole I can't remember who he was with he's basically he's playing Cole. football yeah. and he just keeps falling over and knocking over the goal and like his head comes off and he's clearly got a, a voice modulator in the scene yeah. mm-hmm. like Darth as Vader it, yeah exactly because as it flipped back it was going blobby 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 <laughs> blobby <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's Noel Edmonds but he's dead now now in this in this hypothetical he's scenario. annoyed at Lloyd's bank right now that's his current yeah thing. that was the weird right so talk to me about this what's remind me what this weird shit is I think essentially okay so th- yeah. I can't give all the details because there is a lot to take he's, he's been doing this for many years now yeah but um, essentially Noel Edmonds is seeking to sue Lloyd's bank Hmm. He blames them for the collapse of his entertainment company. I assume there was a loan or something involved, or right, yeah. something to do with money. But he's suing them for sixty million pounds. Yeah, for the uh, the oh ed- that was sorry that was Is a that nomination. Noel, you can hear us talk. Noel, I'm sorry. Look, uh, not right, right now. Right. Not right now. Blobby, blobby, blobby. <laughs> yeah, essentially, yeah. Noel Edmonds has gone a bit off the deep end, and all he tweets and talks about on TV now is. I, Lloyd's are greedy, robbing bastards. I want wow. to, I want to fuck them up. I want to see them for all they've got. Would he not have made like an absolute mint off Deal or No Deal? Because he's in every pub on a slot machine. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, is. the likeness everywhere of you Noel go. Edmonds. Yeah, and wasn't that filmed not too far from here? Oh yeah, I Deal or No Deal wasn't it at the Bottle Yard or whatever? It's oh called? maybe actually, yeah. Bottle Bank. It is a bit weird though what he's going through. It's like it's a bit like. Have you seen when David Icke just lost the plot and he went? David on... Icke's gone full conspiracy theorist. Well, yeah, he, he he did years ago. Um, yeah. He was a, he used to just do a sports section on a t- uh, like BBC or ITV uh, news thing. Yeah, and um, then he suddenly just kind of woke up one day and thought that like he had all this knowledge about like the end of the world and it's made uh, things lizard no. people, isn't it? Now it now he does lizard people and <laughs> and all kinds of things. But he did this interview on Wogan at the time. Oh my god! And kind of just got laughed at. Oh, um, poor. And it poor was, it's Wogan. really uncomfortable to watch. And um, then this is what kind of what Noel is doing now, Noel Edmonds. Is, I saw a thing on Newsnight where he was just, the, the reporter was just kind of saying, yeah, you're kind of, you're kind of insane, aren't you? And he was oh. like, I'm not oh. insane, I'm just doing what's right. The dollar's owe me £60 million. It's a bit weird, I'm sure it's right. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so we're killing off. Yeah, Noel's yeah, out of his misery, I, I think. think <laughs> it's the kind thing. Uh, to it's do. difficult because I. 
I'm I am reluctant to to shag Dave Benson Phillips unless it was on his list of things he wanted in exchange <laughs> for hosting my child's birthday party. <laughs> Dave does but, Dave does shows for sex. But oh. I think I think it's a clear choice that we would all marry Neil Everyone because not only is he Neil. lovely, but he's got a fucking fortune. He can yeah. he can afford to tour. He can afford <laughs> to tour with his with his shite band for Whereas the rest of his life. Dave has to work for Nando's and Noel is sixty million pounds in not the even, hole. But let's clarify Dave isn't working for Nando's the company, is no. it? He will he work in exchange for, for a Nando's chicken meal. The food. of chips. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Neil Which Buchanan. is way worse. Neil's got everything going for it. I bet he's a really good dad as well. That's what I was thinking yeah. as well. He seems like he'd be good to have in the house. Like really he'd be very tactile, handy. exactly. The place would look really nice. You have salt over the floor all times. No yeah, slugs would, entering would be that shit house. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. No slugs, but there would be shit everywhere. Just big pictures every of drawer, himself on the floor. Every, every drawer would be a junk drawer. He'd have yeah. wardrobes that would just be full of like reams and reams of coloured fabrics yeah. for his big art attacks. And everything you do would go, look at that. That's what he used to say. Look at that. This is the control splat. And yeah. you grow all together and you're lying in bed one day in the 80s and just Neil turns to you, slightly strained on his face, and he goes, this is a heart attack. Yeah, and, and that's he it. And you're away. like, Neil, no. <laughs> Neil, <laughs> please. Not like this. And then the, the laughing head in the corner just goes, <laughs> you've got that yeah. Did you hear him? He said heart attack. Well, it's like shared custody. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. And it's oh. like, do we have to keep that in the room, Neil? This is the control spot. <laughs> Try it yourself. No, stop Try it, it yourself. Look I'm at from that. Liverpool. <laughs> Silly feet. The cartoon creator. Do you mind if the band come over to this. practice after work? <laughs> no, Neil, they're awful. <laughs> This is my desk. It's all your desk, Neil. I haven't got any of my stuff here, Neil. Oh, oh. I did one myself Shut as well. Up. Shut up. Go to sleep, Ed. Please. <laughs> is it like a parrot where they oh. have to put a sheet over it? So yeah, it just the world is gone. <laughs> Send us yours. Shut up, Ed. Shut up. <laughs> it's four in the morning. This is my favourite parallel universe we've invented. Yeah, uh, fuck. In bed with Neil. <laughs> oh, that would be the name of his late night show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, silly feet I'd marry him I would yeah marry the shit I'm glad we're he's, all on the same page there. Boy. universally we all went for the same options yeah. Yeah. I like how we also just just sort of glazed right past the having sex with Dave Benson because <laughs> that's not something I want to think about too much. get your own back <laughs> 150 points shut up Dave it's not a competition the Gunnel Castle the Gunnel Dunk oh <laughs> Dave you've been slimed <laughs> oh god <laughs> How would you, where would you start with Dave Benson Phillips? Would you uh, be a passionate lover? Or would it be like a quick? No, I would try and get it over as quick as possible. Yeah. Sorry, Dave, if you're listening. Although, well, I mean, his fans will, and they'll be accused of bullying him again. Yeah. I mean, at what point does it become bullying? Because by accusing us of bullying him, it's kind of made us fixated on mentioning him whenever <laughs> we can. Yeah. It's difficult. Now we're bullying. Now him. I think it's now we're bullying this nice man. He's a nice man. Yeah. And he sent We've us a signed picture for of him. free. <laughs> he did, didn't even. I don't know if we've spoken about this. The one. That we got in post some tat that was signed. The sign picture Apparently, of David Phillips. The person who bought it didn't get charged, <laughs> <laughs> so it was free. Uh, Which is so Dave Benson Phillips. Oh, it's very Dave. It's very oh, Dave. Fuck. Peak Dave. Okay, fantastic. God, that's, I'm in uh, pain. That's yeah. how long have we been going for? A while. That's about forty minutes. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll do my thing now. <laughs> so I do, and this is scandalous. Another podcast. Yeah. Oh, no. um, it's a PlayStation podcast called PlayStation Radio UK. You don't have to listen to it. I don't do it very regularly because I'm too busy here doing this podcast. Do they still do it without you? Or It's just me and it's just me and Simon. Oh, cool. So yeah. it's just the two of us. Not not that Simon. Oh. No. No. That guy's, right. well, that guy's got like seven podcasts of his own. Yes, yeah. it is. You have to pay for those because you know, he's, he's got to make no money. He's on the hustle. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's fine. Um, and we got talking about... Wiping one's bottom. Mm. Right. Now, as it turns out, this isn't something that many people discuss. No, no. And it is interesting to discuss it because while it is discuss ting, yes. it is it seems to vary rapidly, rapidly wildly yeah. I'm terrified from person to person. I'm terrified to find out a new wiping technique. Oh so, there are so many different aspects of it as well yeah there's like some people right okay so there are like five things to consider wipe from back to front as in i reach between my legs oh my god yeah and i I (laughs) and i come forwards kind of like a digger (laughs) right like a digger 
Go on. Yeah. Like, like, a, like a JC. You grab your oily French toast, go dip, dig deep with that bad boy. Yeah. Do you not only worry about grape juice for a week and a wiping oh poops God. towards your balls? See, this is the conversation that I have had a million and one times. Yeah. And no, because when you train to do something from childhood, <laughs> it doesn't affect you. Now, women, your vaginas yeah. are beautiful. But that is a whole situation that you don't, you don't really want to <laughs> sort make of get poop, in the way of. Poop so, so women naturally would, you know, go the other way. Mm. But we ran a poll and of the, I can't remember number, quite insignificant number of people surveyed, it was a 50-50 split between back to front and front to back. Front, no, But no, we spoke to more people bullshit. about this. Some people stand up. Yeah. yeah, standing up, I'm fine with. Right, no. see, like I've never heard of that before. I don't stand Some up. people I, go I, side to side and do a little twizzle, <laughs> and then like a backflip or something. See, I, I used to stand up as a kid. Then I learned, you know, to sit down. I learned that technique. Right. Was it because you just <laughs> couldn't stay still? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking hand. Oh my god! Just yeah. Like, I, can, I want to try it tonight. Oh no. You can if you want. Oh, no, because it'll go so badly. It's, it's like, going to feel it. It's, it's like, like writing, writing with, with the your, other hand, but exactly. even worse. It's like writing or wiping with the other hand. Now. There are also other things, Michael. For example, oh. are you a folder or a scruncher? Oh, I do a combination. I fold and like do a mild scrunch. So there's okay. like some texture there just to you know, really get to get to right. the, get to I'm the good a, I'm valleys. a very tidy uniform folder. Oh. I, How many pieces are you using? Uh, it, Actually, because I, I usually like wrap it around my hand a few times. I have people come to stay that just churn through fucking toilet roll. Yeah, no, I only use... Two pieces. Two pieces. Two pieces per wipe. Yeah, what per, the fuck? Yeah. yeah. You must have the most dainty shits ever. No. I, sometimes <laughs> I, I go through a lot and it really hurts my ass. Two squares. They're, they're two, two ply. And That's you, you fold enough. the two squares into one the same size as a single piece. Yes. And then even then you might... I would even potentially fold again. Mm-hmm. What? Um, How you don't use no surface area to work with there. You're not manoeuvring anything. I'm you're just very kind of dexterous. Like, you're dabbing it. You're just dabbing it. Dabbing. Dabbing. Yeah, they both just dabbed. <laughs> Can confirm. Michael and Ben just dabbed. Uh, Stop saying it. Yeah, I will. Now there's something else as well. What is it? I don't want to fucking. Oh know. yeah. Now we talked to someone from. Well, we talked to several people from Name Redundant about this, and. Some people, and this fucking blows my mind, and maybe it is because I use a very small surface area and therefore I wouldn't be capable of doing this. Yeah. Some people wipe, they then take the piece they've already used, fold it over, and rewipe. Oh! <laughs> no! Yeah. Ben, where do you stand on that? Uh, no, usually I would do no. a wipe. Yeah. But, and here's the thing. Do you guys check the toilet roll? No, I don't do yeah, this. No, I check, right, I see, check, some I people check. Don't. So I have a check, and if it's like... I can do better than that. I'll go. I'll go for another. No! Goal, but I'll like. I'll twist it in a bit, so it's oh. like it's not an issue. See, I feel like I should check. I don't check. How do you know how clean your ass is? If you, if you, I can you, feel that it's clean. I don't. I've never. It's, I've, it's all. It's lies. It's I've lies. never ever had a, a skid mark issue in my pants. So I've, right. I've never. Again, it's like you. You learn you how just to learn. do it. Yeah. You learn how it feels when it's clean. But how do I know? <laughs> clean butt. But but how do I know when I? You know. If if I have blood in my stool, exactly, yeah, which I probably don't, no, but but it's nice to know. You need to check these things. You do need to check these things. Check your balls. Check the, if there's blood in your poops. Uh, check if there's blood in your urine. If yeah. there's blood anywhere other than in your veins, it's not really yes, a good thing. Great. Unless you know your vagina is beautiful. Oh, oh of course, know, that's, yeah, that's, that's that's a perfectly, perfectly natural. natural I mean, you know, you, that's that's more than just blood. Is is you know that's a distinction. It's, a it's, it's, out. it's yeah, life. It's it's a potential life wasted. Why didn't <laughs> yeah. you get pregnant this month, you <laughs> yes. terrible person? You should have been married and pregnant by this time this month. <laughs> yeah. Can we never talk about wiping again? Well, that's the thing. Wipe supremacy is not meant to be a topic that. It's not a happy conversation. Not, I feel really fucking disgusted. You don't right have to. Now, d- it's honest. not meant to divide people. It's meant it fucking does. It's meant to. It's meant to celebrate. As I have. <laughs> it's celebrate the diversity of the human spirit. Diversity. I have very good. I have because it, it is a diverse shitting, isn't it? Yeah. I have over the course of a, a, like a couple of years now come to terms that with yeah, the you're fact a fucking that, monster. That I am. I am a monster. wiping wiping in a in a different way than a, than a than a lot of people. And B an antipodean I am, wiper. I, I am not. <laughs> well, it just swells the wrong way. Yeah, oh. I am because I'm above the equator. Also, B, I I am not alone in that. Right. There are people who do the, the same thing. Yeah. Well, you think you think I that, do, I but they think I you're the freak ch- because I, they've never heard of this. Like standing. I up. don't want to check the video's Discord tonight because it's all going to be arse and shit talk. Well, it will be now. Yeah. Now that you've said that, 
guys. It's, it's just like Peter and his piano that might fall on him. I am interested in. You I say kind it's of going to happen. Oh, I, we'll, actually, at six p.m. I'll post a poll. As you know, at seven p.m. in the Discord, I'll post a poll. Okay, and so, so everyone's had a chance to listen. To be fair, though, there are a lot of women in there, and I feel like they're going to sway that vote. I was going to say, I do want to see uh, a straw poll of forward versus backward, mm-hmm. uh, side to side. Side to side. Check the paper versus no check. Checks or no checks. Uh, how many How many squares? Mm. Fold or scrunch? The I want all of this information. Someone the needs great to... idiot poop census 2018. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do one every year. See I'm if interested anything in... changes. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll get working on that when we finish. Oh, good God. Yeah, yeah that's just something that has Can occupied just... my time previously, and I just wanted to... Maybe the best way to do it is just to make a Google Sheet and let everyone fill it in. And you fold it once. Maybe, then. actually. Yeah, yeah, choose how many Google Sheets you want to use, but... <laughs> <laughs> What were the results what? from the Wipegate survey? Oh, is this your thing? Wipegate. Wipe, Wipegate. Wipe as opposed supremacy. to wipe supremacy. We talked about this a couple of podcasts ago. Which way do you wipe? Do you stand? Do you sit? Do you scrunch? Do you fold? How many squares? The great census of 2018. The fact of it is that Ben is wrong, and now we have conclusive evidence oh, about it. Fair enough. I'm really interested. I've still not looked at these results, actually. So, so um, we've got a total of 378 responses. Nice. Yeah. So we've got like a good wide... Some people here. I will say, yeah. as I said at the time, yeah. that we do have a good number of women who yeah. listen. Mm. Yeah. And women have no reason to wipe the way that I do, hygienically. No. It doesn't make sense. So the the women vote will will have to be factored in here. I'm just I, saying. I didn't account for, I didn't ask anything about the people, just their shitting habits. No. So right. that exactly. might skew it. So, so I just I just want to say, like, I, I appreciate that they that we live in a, a colourful world and everyone live in a can, society. can wipe in any direction they want. But if if it goes one way or the other, but it's if worth, you're a woman it's worth bearing in mind that women would not wipe toward their balls. You because get they don't a UTI. have UTI God. And you will, that's really bad. Why would you wipe towards your balls anyway? It's just absolute madness. Anyway, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going Let's st- not go there. No, again. I'm going straight to the wiping technique. Yeah. Okay. 69.4% of people do it the nice. normal way back 69. to front. I'm still nice. surprised that, like. See, that's, that's pretty close to 50 50. Well, you say that. Well, it's close to 70 30, but. But yeah. with, Wait, but no, with sorry, the women I, taken into. I got, factored in. Yeah, so yeah, s- s- like 97% of people do it the normal way. Normal. <laughs> the normal can way. You, can you express what that means? Balls Just not to crack. towards the balls. Right. Yeah, balls yeah. to cr- balls to back. And then 25% of people do it the weird Ben way, which is towards the balls. Oh, okay. But so then, where's the missing percentage? We've got... Well, there's a, I, I made the mistake of adding custom responses to these. Oh. So okay. um, the next one was side to side. What? Yeah. Green was twirl. Um, then we've got it'll be a mystery, doggy, Caucasian, three seashells. Okay. Uh, Front to back, arm in front, <laughs> right up the shitter. Right. Uh, front to back, arm in front. That's I, weird. I don't understand how it's that works. pushing work. it away. DJ Hero Scratch. Bidets <laughs> are the best, and you are wrong. I mean, I, 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 don't I disagree excluded with bidets. That. I mean, yeah, I, I excluded them because it's not relevant. Right. Um, okay, the sitting position was next. 70.9% of people sit down yeah, while right. wiping. So which, 30, again. Nearly 30% of people stand. I'm nope, so far with the majority. 7. Oh. Stand up. But okay. um, a lot of people chose both as well. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think, like... Do you just alternate? We've spoken... We've had this conversation... I think me and you have spoken to other people about it, like, two or three times. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say his name. You've spoken about I, it a lot. I know exactly. I would name and shame him. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't feel it's my place until... If, no. if he was here and he wanted to get in on the conversation yeah, and announce it to the world. It, but yeah, no. But one of the people we spoke to, I think when we, he said, I stand up, and I was like, what the fuck do you mean you stand up? He said, well, no, I kind of hover and kind of bounce up and down a little bit. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, he's, he's sort of a middle man. A very mobile but He thought it was insane that we just sat down the whole time yeah. as well. So people, do, people yeah. don't talk about this stuff. Yeah, and then we need to have this discussion. This is important. Yes, it is. Um, I think the next one was Slav Squat was also a popular okay. white pink position. I'm not sure what Second position. Reverse cowboy. Uh, you just kind of lean. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 the best of the uh, responses. Right. Okay. So how do you do? You fold or scrunch the toilet paper? Sixty-three uh, percent of people fold. I am just all ma- majority right now. Mm. Yeah, you're normal. Well yeah. done. Um, Twenty-two point five percent of people do a combination of fold and scrunch, okay, yeah. and fourteen percent of people scrunch, which is less than I imagined. But I, I, I've got a combination of the two. Yeah, I, I feel sort like of go for more of a fold and then I 
scrunch it a little. Make get some texture, some yeah. valleys going on. I feel on. like if you if you properly scrunch it, like yeah, if if there are valleys going on, but it's just a, a scrunched up ball, you don't know the shape that's in your hand as you're putting it towards your. Peter, ass. we've already there could be some from unpredictable you. scoops and things there going could on. Be, but you, you don't even check your paper. That's why. Yeah. We, we we check our papers. So we know what we're doing. Well, right. Peter, you know you said you were in the majority. Yeah. Not anymore. Do you look at the paper after you've wiped? Uh, of course everyone looks at the 79 paper. 79% of people do. Fucking that's, that's hell. That's the biggest one so far. Yeah. You freak. I am a freak. I'm a the freak. Worst. I just, what, do you just feel ashamed of what your body's producing? No, I, I've just never felt the need. If someone said, I order you to look at the paper, I'd be like, okay, okay. I, I don't mind. Well, I'm coming around yours tonight. I, w- I want to inspect those And you poops. just know. Peter Austin shit whisperer no, yeah. knows if Me it's clean. Me and the, and the, like, 15% of people who don't just know. Right. Just know. Okay. Uh, it's like, this is a similar thing. I mean, I don't tend to just, I, I don't tend to blow my nose at all. Yeah. Uh, but people who do blow their noses, I've I see people, like, on the bus and stuff, look at the tissue when they're done. Do you guys do that if you blow yeah, your no, nose? Yeah, no, like, you got to inspect that. I mean, M- I, maybe I, if I'm on my own, like, and and I'm, and I need to see in a mirror if there's, like, still stuff going on. But, like, if I'm no, in, look public, in the mirror, I'll do a, I'll do a nose blow and I'll do a wipe and then I just sort of I won't look at the tissue I'm very much a visual man I like to see what I've made I'm really proud of it (laughs) very creative I might look at myself to see if I'm I'm all clean and tidy on my nose but like I wouldn't look into the tissue but people do directly into the heart of the storm last question is just a fruit yeah, maybe you are. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, but you should try and loosen up shit in, in a handstand form. Tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Let's know how that goes. Onto my own face. Yes, oh. directly. And yeah. then wipe it without looking. I remember when I first added Steve on a Snapchat, I think the first video I ever saw of, on his Snapchat was him like squatting in a really high position, just shitting into a toilet from oh, high for up. God's sake. It was amazing. Oh, uh, dude. Uh, <laughs> right I'm shitting from the ceiling. <laughs> uh, how much paper do you use? This was kind of a poor question on my behalf because the options were one square, two squares, three squares, a lot of squares. God, it's like Brexit, isn't it? It wasn't fucking clear enough. <laughs> well, the majority, 55%, went for a lot of squares. Well, okay. hang on. In total or at a time? Yeah, I think see, at a time. Yeah, just uh, that's two what squares. you were asking. I rip off a tiny bit because yeah. I can only use two squares per poo. Yeah, I didn't really. That was a poor question. My per half. poo, I wouldn't be able to give you an answer. Just No, you know, no but several, like per wipe, but I think per wipe was Per implied. wipe, yeah, two or three. Two yeah. squares for me. I think yeah. um, about probably 3% of people said one square. What? Two squares had the next up was sixteen percent, and three squares was next with twenty six percent. Okay, so there we have. But it. I think that White question was supremacy. corrupted by people not understanding what we meant. Yeah. Uh, well, that's why I'm not in charge of uh, surveys. Yeah. There we go. There is wonderful poopy business. Well, I feel fairly supreme. Uh, not, you shouldn't. I need to just start looking at my own shit in my hand. Poop, I guess. Go. Then you'll right. be part of the yeah. elite. Hey, I just want to say again that like. I think the women vote skewed it in a direction mm-hmm. that made it look like it's a far bigger divide. But really, it's 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 a man's world, <laughs> and only men have the true Up freedom the to wipe whenever they want in whatever know. direction this they want. Honestly, the most disgusting thing. Like I'm, I'm in my head. I'm planning. Okay, I'm going to get up and try this. So. You kind of so it's like a lean forward kind of thing, like no, like you're that. sitting on the t- yeah, yeah. I sit on the toilet and and I yeah. How the hell do you do? That? How the hell do you reach you, with your arm? <laughs> But you adapt like to that's doing a it. Lot, just, that's a lot of reaching. Like it's like that. I got long <laughs> arms. I'm I'm powerful. You've only got long. I bet your arms were normal length when you were born. But well, after yeah, years and years of I've <laughs> reaching through your legs. Look, me and the long. Look, you, you guys are going to need me and the rest of the back to front wipers when you eventually need to reach stuff at the back of the cupboard and you can't do it because you've got your stubby little backwards wiping arms. Well, we might have stubby little backwards wiping arms, but at least we don't have shitty balls. Bam. But neither do I. <laughs> well, that's just well, you not, can't see that area of the true. balls where it's I'll all going. Like, I that. know that's Again. probably stained fucking brown, <laughs> and you have got no idea. <laughs> that's out- an outrageous suggestion. Well, much like the ship whisperer Peter Austin, you know how to wipe <laughs> from decades. <laughs> From yeah. your entire life. It's not like every time it's like, oh, I've painted all the way up my chest. <laughs> you know when to stop. It's like, I guess, why aren't you going all the way up? You could go all the way up your back. It's like, of course you don't. You know when to stop. Yeah. It's it's all about the that's technique. A good point. That you we could that's theoretically thing. go all the way up our backs if we didn't stop. <laughs> up the backside. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing with not looking, though, because like, I'm a looker. And like there's times where it feels dry, but I'm lo- I'm looking at the paper thing. God, there was still a bit there. Oh, you've wow. always got the shittiest ass of all time. Do you know what? I've never ever in my entire life had had. How a, the fuck do you manage that? A skiddy, yes. a skiddy pants. Skiddy pants. Yeah. S- 
It's skinny a, pants. It's a rap name, isn't it? Well, Are you poop solid? She's the, the girl in Fallout New Vegas, isn't she? Skinny, skinny pants. pants. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> right, I'm going to move this along. Thank no, you, Michael. I want to know how solid his poops are. Well, reasonably solid. It varies, not, right? It, surely. It's, just, it's all yeah, diet. But you got to had dominoes the night before. Yeah, in which case, stand back. You've got to be relatively <laughs> consistent to never have had skid marks, though. Consistent consistency, yeah. I don't know. I just I just do a good old wipe and make sure I'm dry. Okay, I'm do you done. have baby wipes involved oh, in I the don't. situation? No. They're bad for the plumbing, though. I don't care. <laughs> And it's as simple as that. Right. right. No, I don't have them either, but I always relish going to someone's house where there are baby wipes in there. I'm like, because you can just sort of, it's, you can freshen up right at the end, mm. you know? Yes, little, it's a nice finisher. little fresh, and then you dab. Yeah. little fresh dab at the yeah, end. Yeah. yeah. And then you're done. Good. Can we move on? Can we put this to please, bed? Please, please. It's been yeah, put to bed. I'm Thank you, everyone, now. for all your responses. Um, you could actually fill out that survey more than once, so I don't know how many people did that. But, if anyone uh, has the time to fill it out multiple times to skew results, I, I commend you, really. You're doing great stuff for this planet. 350 of you. Ridiculous. Yeah. When I was in primary school, there was a teacher just like that who mm. taught maths, and she had, like, a tight grey bun. She was in her 50s and wore skirts <laughs> and, like frumpy blouses she was called i kid you not mrs gibbon <laughs> you would have had a laugh with that <laughs> but, uh, i'm sure ha, did you know that means willie willie <laughs> in the vidiot's lexicon yeah, exactly it's not even a sort of a thing that we <laughs> pulled an urban we've made that thing, up yeah. ourselves um and i didn't have a very much she uh it was a school where actually some of the classes were taught by different teachers even though it was primary school which okay. was a bit weird yeah uh, unorthodox. i'm sure that's right <laughs> yeah um but she would teach maths um and i remember in my first week um in her class she was sort of saying okay this is what we're going to be doing this week and there were these new kids uh, at the school and i heard them sort of saying under their breath like oh that's easy that's easy and i think i was trying to like make friends with these new kids or like wanted to impress them <laughs> and so she carried on saying and then then we're going to do this she was a horrible woman i'm making her sound nice yeah, yeah. and then they were going that's and then easy. we're going to do this yeah then we're going to do this and then the third thing she said we're going to do this and then i also went oh that's easy to like oh, get in no. with these kids oh, no. she heard me oh fuck she her eyes just fell upon me and she went what's your name Oh, God. And I went, Peter Austin? And she went, stand up. And I went, okay. And oh, my God. I stood up and she went, we do not want your comments, Peter Austin. Oh, oh my wow. God. And I was about, I think I was seven. Oh. Imagine, I mean, it's just, even as adults now, yeah. I cannot relate to that woman. No. no. Like, I can't relate to, to terrifying a child who's enthusiastic about learning. Yeah. <laughs> just what the trying fuck? To... It's not easy. She went, and then we're, go- then we're going to do this. And you went, Bet she's a right fucking bitch. <laughs> Stand, Stand up. up. What no, did like, you say? I look forward to learning. Stand up. What's your name? We do not want your comments, Peter Ross. I really remember her saying wow, that. That's really vividly. Wow, into you. what a the, cow. And the other thing is, so in secondary school, at the Catholic secondary school, I was walking along the corridor um, in the middle of class. Like, I think I've been told to like take a note to someone or something, like to a different classroom. Yeah. So I was walking along the corridor and coming the other way was the scariest teacher in the school, Mr. Bryant, mm. who would stop people for their uniform and stuff constantly and like yell at them. Yeah. And he had this big box of textbooks in his hand and he was coming towards these double doors and I held the door open for him and he came through and he said, thank you, young man. And I said, that's all right. And he stopped and turned around and said, oh. pardon. And I said, that, that's all right. And he said, that's not all right. You say you're welcome. Oh, I was like, God. what? Fucking hell. Yeah. Chill out. I held the door open for you and said, that's all right. I'm sorry I didn't say you're welcome, you fucking asshole. Oh Jesus. So, I mean, it didn't bother me. I was like, just, yeah, I'm clearly really not. You're fine with it now. this time. But like, but I just thought, fuck you. Fuck that's you. just not a polite. You wouldn't say that to someone in the street, would you? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine you know? if he's like, like, yeah, if you try, yeah, like teachers try normal people the way they treat kids yeah. what the fuck does have that ridiculous respect? it's I, awful I, think I've, I don't know if I've said this before on the podcast or on a video but I was once like playing in math class with a ruler just bending it as you do because I was a fidgety kid as yeah. you can fucking imagine right. just bending it and eventually I snapped it yeah and it, like teachers turned to me and said Michael do you always do stupid things like this <laughs> <laughs> and you said yes miss I was, I was well, fast I was, forward like, 10 mm. years and you're like eh, <laughs> eh, eh I'm an like, idiot now still yeah. doing it what did you say to her I was like, I, in my head, I was like, yes, I do. And I was like, no, no, really, she, she made me go buy a new ruler. 30 pence of my own money to replace Whoa. the ruler. She made you go and buy a new ruler for yourself. But yeah. like, 
It was it was a class ruler, but oh, I was yeah. I see. Right. Yeah. yeah, I was just <laughs> that, that question of do you always do stupid things like this? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. But... <laughs> I uh. bent. I mean, I snapped a ruler. People do that all the time. I had an older. I've got an older brother who I went to school with. Or sister. Uh, or sister. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, he's two years older than me. And, or younger. Or younger. <laughs> and uh, I went to a school that only went up to year two, and then everyone moved on to a separate school that did, oh. like, three to six. Interesting. Okay. Um, and when I was at the second of the primary schools, uh, it was my first year, and he'd been there for three years, mm-hmm. and uh, he said to my mum one day that it was non-uniform day <laughs> on Friday. And I nice. said to him, no, I think that's next Friday, isn't it? And he said, no, 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 it's this Friday. And I said, no, no, I'm pretty sure it's next Friday. And he said, no, it's next. It, it, you're wrong. So my mum believed the older child who'd been going to the school for three years. Oh, God. Mm. And we got into our non-uniform. Mm-hmm. I'm convinced it's next week. He's saying it's tomorrow. And uh, went into school. And I remember pulling up outside the school. My gran used to drop us off. Uh and I remember hearing my brother who was sat in the front seat. He's in uniform. <laughs> They're all in uniform. <laughs> no. And at that point, I think my gran had to. She sort of said, "Like, well, am I going to take you home to change then, or what?" And it was it was a pain in the ass to get in and out of this school. It was right yeah. in the middle of the city, and we, as I say, I grew up in the middle of like the countryside, and um, we just went in, and we had to go to Mister Washington's office, oh, who no. was the headmaster and uh explain and he just was disappointed but oh, said mr roston okay. i thought you were better than this yeah <laughs> but just said well you're just gonna have to stay in your fucking non-uniform aren't you that's oh, what he said in your fucking you non-uniform. Fucking non-uniform. Non-uniform. you're just gonna have to stay in your fucking non-uniform. pain in the ass never have i been less uh, happy to be in non-uniform at school because yeah. oh, when we went no. out into the playground at at fucking break time there's just me and my brother sticking out like a sore thumb in quite bright clothes as I remember I think I was in like were you rocking the tie-dye? I was in like yeah. orange yeah this was in the late 90s so yeah, I it's was a in a tie-dye era it wasn't quite tie-dye but I had orange shorts on and a, a slightly different shade orange t-shirt nice uh, and he was in like lime green I think <laughs> What a fucking pair. <laughs> and there's all these kids in there fucking... Looking like Starburst flavours. Black yeah. blazers and shorts and stuff. Well, they won't, be, won't have been in blazers, but, you know, just just grey, horrible, boring, boring uniform. So mm. that was uh, that was pretty bad. Oh, no. Uh, my friend Beth, uh, me and her, and a bunch of other people used to occasionally hang out in the library at lunchtime because we were cool kids. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was this um, uh, French book that was, it was almost like a picture book in that that each double page spread would be a big scene. And all around the edge, there was like a border and it had like images from the scene with the French word next to it. So it was just to learn vocab. And you would like try and spot the, you know, it was was for kids really. I don't know why it was in a high school, Mm -hmm. but we got this book. And uh, we were flicking through it. I don't know why we chose to pick it up, but there were a couple of knobs that have been drawn in it. Oh, no, Wilsons. Yeah, little Wilsons uh, on sort of the dad or, you know, <laughs> Just that kind on of the thing. face or in the crotch area? Uh, I think mostly in the crotch area, okay. maybe on a, a few people's heads. But there are only yeah. maybe six in the entire book. Six Wilsons. Uh, so we put penises... On every conceivable place <laughs> that there could be one. Did and you live super were, bad? <laughs> sorry? Did you live super bad? Pretty much. Couldn't stop But they were dicks. just the, the standard two complete perfect circles and yeah. uh, half a sausage. A gibbon. A gibbon. The yeah. inverse yeah. gibbon. And I, I wish... I, we had photos of this book and we kept them for a long time, but then they were on someone's hard drive and they got lost. Oh. But it was hysterical. <laughs> right. There was like a man watering his flowers and obviously the hose pipe was a knob (laughs) there was a ballerina who was like on one leg and the other leg was like over her head 
and we put a penis between her open legs. Of course. Yeah. Uh, going uh, into else, or escaping from? Uh, coming out like she was a, a boy a boy girl. Oh, oh my God. One yeah. of those. One of those. Actually, yeah, we didn't put one, we didn't put it going in. Maybe we should have done. And all the one I mean, that's the obvious. That's a, yeah, less innocent than just drawing knobs on something. There was a supermarket scene, and there was like a green grocer's uh, aisle, and there was a big crate with oranges, and every two oranges oh, next no. to each other <laughs> were the balls of another penis. A crate of Williams. Yeah, and there were uh, there were some major pube bushes going oh, on as well. It was just covered. Absolutely covered, and presumably that book has now been destroyed. Well, we don't. By some it was there for agency. a long time because Beth and a couple of my my other friends were quite into musical theatre and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and they ended up going back to the school after we'd left, I think, to do some sort of choir thing or I don't know exactly what it was. But while they were there, they went up to the library and found the book, and it was still there. Oh my god! But we were talking about it actually just a couple of days ago, and uh, we're convinced it must have been found at this point, right? But we would love to go back and. It's the fabled book that everyone wants to read, the yeah. knob book. <laughs> oh no. I wish I could I wish I could describe how how many penises there were. If the purge was real, what activities would you get up to? Oh. Or would you choose to hide it out for the night? What would be your approach? Well okay, I'm But gonna... wait, there's more. What? Bulgarian Robottom at Good Brother Lord <laughs> says could you answer a question doing the Milo voice? Oh no! We oh had... no! Oh no! Oh no, Bella! I don't, I don't know. want to. I would go to the hospital and put Bella out of her misery. Oh God! <laughs> Christ! So, guys, yeah, have yeah. you seen the Purge? Yeah. yeah, I've not seen it, but I'm aware of what it, it is. It's right. an interesting concept, but the execution yeah. it leaves a lot to the to, 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 to be desired. desired right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not seen it, but I know what it's about. I've All seen right. the Rick and Morty episode. Yeah, there's I've seen one, one, two, three Purge films three. now. I saw a little bit of Purge election year. Oh, oh yeah. Was and it, it was good? Re- no. Oh, it how many really people do you think have tuned out? One, um, two, <laughs> three. I don't know. Well, that's the thing, right? Oh, so, yeah. there were these people protecting their building. Yeah. Oh, right. They were stood up on the roof and looking down at the street below. Yeah. And these people rocked up in a car... Right. That was covered in fairy lights. Oh, because it's that's nice. quite flamboyant and like, oh, we can do whatever we want to get out. They're blasting the music yeah. and they're holding AKs and there are these ladies in hey, dresses. Hey, hey, what, what do you say? <laughs> Come, Come along and shoot everybody. everybody. Um, yeah, so it's like, for starters, why have they done that? Why have they wasted part of their 24 hours of purge putting, putting fairy, fairy lights, lights on, on a car? car. No, I think well, there's a day for stars. preparation there. Oh, right, the, oh, the pre-purge day. day. Yeah. And then Sunday's the day of rest. Yeah. And Saturday's treat day. But no, they show up with their big shiny car, which is like, oh, I'm not a target. Don't right. shoot at my giant shiny car. Yeah. They get out. And then these guys from the roof, instead of, like, ducking down and staying out of their sight, they yell down at them and just go, Hey, don't you think about messing with us? And they went, Oh, blah, 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 whatever, man. And then someone from the roof shoots one of them through the ear. Oh, through the ear? Through the ear. That's a hell of a shot. Like, shoots one of the lobes off. Right. And then they go, We'll be back later. And then they go away. And then they come back again with loads of other people. I just think that situation... Could have been avoided entirely just by not shooting him through the ear. All you got to do is keep your head down. Yeah, yeah. easy. Well, in in answer to the question, yeah, yeah. who would you kill? I think. Well, in reality, I think the best thing to do would be just to hide well, for twenty four hours. Yeah. Before you finish the question, but, I was going to say, let's not be boring here. Yeah, let's let's yeah. say who would you Assuming kill? Assuming we're not allowed to hide, or we get some kind of invincibility cloak. Oh. Yeah. I would probably. I don't know if I'd kill so anyone. We, yeah. An invincibility cloak. An invincibility cloak. Not an invisibility cloak. No, invisibility cloak. They can still see me. It doesn't, <laughs> matter, if they, it doesn't so, matter if they see me, Michael. You, you just got all around the towel. towel. Legion, a very strong towel. <laughs> and you're yeah. actually role-playing as Milo, a boy from the tweenies. <laughs> yeah. Because an invincibility cloak... It's not a real thing, Peter. Well, no, there's Milo from the Tweenies. Well, he's answering this question. Right. Milo from the Tweenies yeah. is walking around in fucking Mithril. Yeah. Right? Oh. And he doesn't... I wouldn't kill anyone. No. I'd just go and steal all the things I can't afford on my wage. Oh, right. All crime Which is, is legal. Which is most thing. 
I'd probably park. <laughs> I'd park on a double yellow line. Yo, oh, you fucking mad man. man. I'd, I'd walk in to fucking Waterstones. W- Waterstones? And buy the Tweenies Annual 2018. Yeah. Oh, lovely. And go home and read it. That, oh. that sounds like a lovely perch. But you'd I've gone a bit weird. <laughs> Milo's grandmother. Huh. You'd walk all the way there, though. No. No. I'd drive there and you'd park on a double it. yellow right. line. Is this Peter or Milo? I don't know. <laughs> the line is sort of blurred, isn't it? Yeah, I hate these blurred lines. You know, you know you want it. it. I know. Can we do an entire it. blurred lines rendition Come as oh, Milo from I between? Just, I, just, I don't know the words. Not now. I know you want it. You know you got it. But you're a good girl. You're a good... Oh, he's gone for a few. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> you're a good girl. I'm Milo. You know you want it. Oh. Da, da, da. Right, OK, well, I hope What that a horrible that. song. Awful. Well, and, uh, Who would you kill, Mikey? No, that's the thing I was thinking there, because you can't go for someone high profile, because A... Someone else will probably kill them before you if they haven't already gone into hiding. Mm. It's like I think people who people want, like know people want to kill them, they're going to hide and going to do everything they can to avoid getting yeah. killed. So it's going to be quite like a personal grudge. Someone low level. I don't know who I'd kill. Me. Mm. <sighs> do you have a grudge? I think we should go mm. up to a former place of work and just cause some havoc. Oh my god! Is that a threat? No. We I'm could t- get done for the that. The purge isn't real. Did you say that a former place like of work a, or the former place? A, a, oh, just, I said hour, Just but. some random former place of work. Yeah. yeah. You go back Maybe. to the service station on the motorway, I'll go back to McDonald's. Peter, yeah. you can... Uh, some of them will be what, safe. What's, your, what's my previous... Bernardo's what? Children's Charity. Oh, okay. oh, no. Yeah. No one is safe. No. <laughs> and Bernardo's. I'll get them. Oh, going to cause some havoc to those people trying to save children. Oh, fuck. Jesus. What an excellent organisation. A wonderful organisation. You're still going to support them with your money. Yeah. Not stolen during the purge. <laughs> if you had to assassinate one fictional kid's television character, who would it be? And we don't watch current day television yeah. for children, yeah, so, so we can't really these pick references from, from that. You 1970. Know, the Russian spies who get, well, I don't know who it is that gets killed, but like people get killed by injection and stuff. Mm. And like they have a slow, painful kind of chemical death. Is that what's happened to Bella? Is someone yeah. Oh, poisoned yeah. she's, her? She's got, like, yeah, she's got. Fucking radiation poison. Yeah. I think Milo actually did it. You think Milo did it? Pretending that he did off of the tweenies. I Milo he... off of the tweenies has assassinated Bella. Well, yeah. I think what he did was spook. he injected her like on purge night when he was allowed, <laughs> yeah. and then the next day, now that the purge is over, he pretends to have nothing to do with it, and he's going, "Oh no, Bella! Oh, <laughs> she's going to die." Raises a very interesting question, Peter. Yeah. Austin, oh, mm. in that long deaths that are instigated mm. on oh, purge yeah. night. What's the legality of them? That's a good point. Later actually. on, well, the act the act is is done on on so purge night. Milo essentially signed Bella's death certificate. Yeah, on purge night, <laughs> for, on the, in the Tweenies house. Yeah, yeah. While Floppy was what? And Flop was the fuck called? Doodles. 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 Sorry, Floppy is from Biff and Chip. Yeah. What the fuck's um, Biff and Chip? What do you mean? What the fuck? Is How can Biff you not know what Biff and Chip is? On an adventure, having fun with the magic key. <laughs> Doesn't ring any bells at all, Biff. Star of uh, of book and screen, Biff and Biff Chip. Biff and Chip, yeah. your wand. Anyway, uh, yeah, so he, he signed the death certificate of Bella off of the tweenies that night mm. and then just watched it play out like some sort of grim phantom Ugh. specter of death and just pretended to be sympathetic. <clears throat> Sorry, I wanted to hear what Kipper sounded Go like. Hmm. Now which one shall I do? Oh, yeah. Oh. He sounds a bit like right to theme tune, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. He sounds like a slightly more grown-up Milo. Milo. Oh. oh. Now what should I do? Now, oh, oh Bella. Bella died Slightly ten years ago. Oh, oh, yeah. No. But her spirit lives on in, in me and it, the shrine I have under the stairs. It hurts every day. Oh. Bella. They would have been painting gravy onto their legs. And that's what they used to do. What? Really? I don't know about this. No, no I don't know about this. They used to paint their this. legs with gravy granules instead of... Cause, like, there was a... How do you paint with gravy granules? Well, like, they would mix gravy oh. granules. I think it was gravy. It was probably, like, browning sauce or oh. something. Oh, fuck off. I threw that away. I don't want that in my food. No, I bet. But um, it, because there was, like, a shortage on certain materials because of, like, making parachutes and shit... A lot of women went out, went without stockings, mm. which was a little bit like, oh, you shouldn't be without stockings. Not so paint. they would essentially paint their legs brownish. So oh. they looked like they had stockings oh, on. Interesting. Wow. Would it not stain their skin? 
No, I don't think so. It would just wash off. Okay. Was, in fact, I don't think they even painted the whole leg. I think they did a thin line up the back of their leg where the seam of the stocking would have been. What the oh, fuck? Yeah. Interesting. Something like that. I don't really know the full thing. That's, that's weird. Paint me in gravy. That's how I want to die. Just <laughs> so my skin can't breathe. I I drown in gravy. gravy. Like in Goldfinger, with, but with gravy. <laughs> but with gra- Goldfinger. But- <laughs> gravy finger. <laughs> Who was in Goldfinger? Who was the actor? That was playing Bond at the time. Well, it wasn't Sean Piers Borsnan, was it? It wasn't. Yeah, no. Penis Borsnan. Yeah. <laughs> Have you, you any... seen the really offensive Siamese cat in the Aristocats? No. What does uh, he do? Oh God, does he do accents? And stuff? Yes, he does. Yeah, okay, He's cool. got um, very oh. narrow eyes. Uh, we are Siamese, if you please. That's the difference. That's, that's, um, Lady that's the also Trump. great. Yeah, yeah, that's also Oops. a good representation of Asians in Western media. Yeah. How come Siamese? Cats became Asian. I don't know. Because it's Siam, which is what Thailand um, is now. We used to call Thailand Siam. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Um, which is also why Siamese, conjoined twins are called Siamese because, uh, like, a sort of the famous, the sort of the first world famous pair of conjoined twins were from Thailand oh. or Siam. So. But the one in the Aristocats. How the f- no, they, they, we, no, <laughs> no. Every, hang on. Every time we talk about anything, you have a fact. Fucking gravy S- legs, <laughs> gravy legs, S- and Siamese, Siam, Siam Siamese Thailand. twins. Yeah. What the Look, fuck? Peter? All we know is that we can't go against Peter when we're playing trivial, trivial pursuit. No, because you literally know no everything. Point. Well, questions like this never come up. It's always like, who won the World Cup in 1998? <laughs> but who did? I don't know. It was France. Fuck you. Great. See, now I know something. <laughs> <laughs> in the Aristocats. Um, there's this caricature I've got Siamese to check that cat. now. <laughs> what, who won? Yeah. Right. I, it probably will be France. That's a safe bet. I know it was held in France. Anyway, sorry. And they you. turn up at um, the house at the end where there's a bunch of cats and dogs like playing jazz, right? Yeah. And this Siamese cat plays the piano and halfway through the final musical number, he pulls out some chopsticks and plays the piano using his chopsticks of course i think that might have even been removed in recent really? versions it was of the person with shameful <laughs> yeah i uh, think this, they decided this is probably not okay prob- well, yeah we should probably just glaze past this if who won the world cup in 19 was france well done nice Thank well you. done you did have some really strong opinions of another game that you haven't played <laughs> which which uh, one and Wolf- a certain sect of people wolfenstein 2 oh yeah anything else that was particular stand up Oh, well, yeah, a kicking Hitler and <laughs> shooting Nazis is, is a lot of fun, really. Fuck but, yeah. <laughs> okay! You were trying to skirt around it, but if you ask me okay. directly, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> well, all right, I don't know how BAFTA feels about that, but... Okay. <laughs> you see, I'm actually implying BAFTA's a Nazi sympathiser. Yeah. What the fuck? How can anyone be against me <laughs> I saying... I don't know how BAFTA feels about Nazis! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more the idea of he's not sure why you brought why you went so specifically about well, kicking that was, Hitler. That's that was one my of one selling points. That was my one panic moment. Is that oh, we'd, we'd all been talking about Wolfenstein for a while, and then she'd asked literally the three other guests about it, including you. Yeah. And for the entire stream up to that point, she'd not necessarily asked all four of us for an opinion on the same game. So I'd once she asked you about it, I was like, oh good, she's not. <laughs> and then as soon as you were done she turned to me and went yeah what about you any thoughts about, about uh, uh, Wolfenstein uh, uh, like, kicking oh, Nazis <laughs> you, know, you know the BJ you know the BJ the Blaskowicz, BJ Blaskowicz featured the... on our sexiest yeah. gaming guys you could have said oh, he's, he's a big it boy a isn't he boy. and, and yeah, you would have got that was you a proper panic your... mode right though. but looking back in hindsight you could have got your you could have got your laugh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a, you know, I would yeah with BJ he puts the BJ in BJ right he does yeah it is yeah. Um, no, I, I mean, I stand by that. I don't regret saying it, but uh, I think it's it's funny, actually, because the when we first started talking about Wolfenstein, she opened with something like, so, yeah, uh, Wolfenstein, um, obviously, you know, there are a few things that we, we might not want to talk about or <laughs> something like that. She said something along the lines of, uh, let's not talk about Hitler and Nazis. Right. And then I, mean, my, it's kind I of thought the, she the, just meant spoilers. But... She may have meant spoilers, mm. but but my closing point on the Wolfenstein thing was the thing that she'd opened with, saying, <laughs> saying let's, let's not, not talk, talk about, about that one. So, so that went down really well. Yeah. Um, and I think <laughs> then Paul from Fourth Floor sent us an email and said, I also like kicking Nazis. <laughs> yeah. Just as the subject line, uh-huh. which is great. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that went down really well and uh, and that was pretty much it the stream was finished and we just about bs'd our way through a prestigious bafta live stream yeah um and again we we got a nice little bit of extra airtime in the outro because of just how interesting our name is oh. so thank you so much to my guests uh, alicia judge to more hussein and the vidiots their words ben and peter <laughs> and thank their you so words. much their words <laughs> see you later bye bye
The mouse versus the mighty lion. Oh, what is the best animal? The true. It's like some kind of Aesop's fable, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? I, I, I was reading that. That does kind of sound like it could be a fable, couldn't it? The, yeah, mouse, the mouse versus, versus the, lion. the lion. He outwits the lion using his mousy brain. <laughs> Uh, lion or lioness? Oh, um, or both? DJ Khaled's lion statue that he has in his house that features I think it's a lot like in his a, Snapchat. It's a cis lion. A cis yeah. lion. What does that mean? Or no, it's a, a genderless. It's a gender fluid lion. What, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it's just, that it's just, not it's just be anything you wanted to be. It's anything it wants genes to be. at all. <laughs> yes, it is. How? It still has. It still has genitalia. But what kind? You, it doesn't matter. It, doesn't it matter. does matter. That's what I'm asking you. No, that's, that's the point. Is don't don't let its genitalia determine your opinions of it. Yes, you cuck. You cuck. You cuck. Oh. Fucking cuck. Yeah. Don't it's a lot. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Is it alive? Were you going to say? No. It's a lion with a knob. <laughs> okay, and a male. Okay, I was going to say, is, the that, li- is, is it somehow a male or a female lion? I think lionesses are, worse than are awesome. I think lionesses are lionesses so cool. Are great, yeah. They do all the hunting and shit. They they're do. wicked. Yeah. They're so they're badass. What are you think, thinking? The worst of me for wanting to know what gender it was. <laughs> I'm not I'm being facetious. It doesn't matter. It's just a fucking lion. Fucking God, cuck. God damn. It. I'm putting down lion. We're not talking about this anymore. <laughs> mouse didn't even get a look. No, in. we didn't even discuss the mouse. <laughs> Cow. Versus frog. <laughs> what gender is the cow? <laughs> it's a fucking man. All right, <laughs> so, is it? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not a lady cow. What, what, lady cows it? are great. I, I like mit- no. What what the fuck's a bull? Lady cows are shit. Why? They can't fight. They're like they're bad at maths. They make milk. <laughs> they can't drive. You can eat them. <laughs> Right, <laughs> they're terrible at digesting grass. They need two stomachs. Do man cows they swallow dreadful. stones to yeah. grind it up? Wait, do man cows make milk as well? I don't know. Oh, no. like a, a different kind of milk. <laughs> do man men make milk? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I've probably lactated at some point in my life. <laughs> what? Actually, I think it's physically possible for a man to lactate. I think it's that's yeah. actually true. Yeah. You, you um, just do not have the hormones to do it. Yeah, uh, it's got to be, if it's a if it's a lady cow. Yeah. In the same way, like chicken, a very sexy lady cow with big eyelashes and a, a nice pair of udders. <laughs> you know, or, or a, a pair of a udders on those teats. What monstrous Two animal udders. is this? It's just it, it's it's high production value for the dairy right. industry. Right? right? Old MacDonald is just having a whale of a time over here with <laughs> his fucking two uddered cow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cow cows, cow frog. cows produce cheese products. Yes, which is I like, yeah. I like that's a good basis and for like an cheese. argument. Yeah, you, you agree with that? Frogs don't make cheese, do they? No. You what gender is the frog? You can't have a frog tuck cracker, can you? No, you can't. Hey, there we go. No. I've misspelled eagle. I forgot to do the a, so it's now an eggle. Eggle. <laughs> that's Sounds what like it is with this isn't it? It's just a little eggle. <laughs> lion versus cow. What gender is the lion? Are they both female? Yes. Yes. Well, that's mm. tough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's the best. Lioness and milky cows. Those, that's the best. The gender. ones that make your delicious milker. Oh, my God. You wouldn't have milker without cows. I've got enough milk. Unless you're a, <laughs> You could use lion milk, maybe. Yeah, you Lions could. Lion's lactate. Uh, Still got... And it's a, lady, it's a lady lion. I wonder what lion milk tastes like. Ah, oh, pretty bad, I, I imagine. what breast milk tastes like. That's the more feasible one of the two know. to obtain. You've had some. Have I? Was I breastfed? Probably. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you kind of are. You strike me but as I someone was a... who was who was not breastfed. <laughs> All breastfed was... for way too long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're probably still breastfed. Vicky. <laughs> no. <laughs> lion v. Cow, what we're saying, gentlemen. Um, uh, lion bars are delicious. King of but the jungle. Cow bars are. You... So, lion. Probably lion, lion I yeah. think. You might remember a few months ago, I did Animal Fight 2018, where we decided that I think, was it lion was the best animal? It was dog. lion versus dog in the end. I never uh, made a note of which one won. I, I think, think I conceded. Li- yeah. No, I think the dog won. Oh, did it? Because I got overruled. I was going. I was team uh, lion. Oh, I, was going right. for, I asked if it was lioness or lion, and you guys were like, "Why?" <laughs> and I was like, "Because lioness is a badass." Like, you sh- fuck it off. Right, first pledge. There are a few, so bear with me here. Mm-hmm. If you pledge five dollars to forty-nine dollars, you'll get a Save Toys R Us bumper sticker. Sick. Wow. 50 to 99, you'll get a Toys R Us bumper sticker and a special Save Toys R Us num noms. What? What the fuck's a num nom? I don't know, but presumably this guy has all sorts of lines of toys, so a num nom is a thing. Mm. If you pledge $100 to $499, which is already too much, you get the bumper sticker, a pin. Oh my god. And not a pin badge, just an actual just a pin. Pin. Just the pin. And Safe Toys are a special edition LOL surprise. 
Right. I, I this is all stuff that's costing literally, literally pennies to make as well, because he yeah. owns the, the person exactly. that's manufacturing it, these, these goods. Free. He's not telling what the surprise is. 500 to $999, you get the bumper sticker, a pin, a magnet. Whoa. <gasps> A customised Save Toys R Us special edition Little Tykes Cozy Coupe. Ooh. Don't, what? Don't, don't know so what you're that spending $1,000 and you're getting a toy car and a magnet. Yep. If you spend $1,000 to $4,999, you get the bumper sticker, a pin, a magnet, and I'll always be a Toys R Us kid t shirt and <laughs> yes. a Little Tykes build a house, which I've looked up, it's worth £200. Wow. Oh my God. 5000 to $9,999 will get you the bumper sticker, the pin, the magnet, the I'll always be a Toys R Us kid t shirt and a Little Tykes super slam and dunk. What if I don't like Little Little tykes, but I like Toys R Us. Well, that's the problem, Peter. Yeah. Well, they you, they may win you over if you donate between ten thousand and twenty four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. You get the bumper sticker, the pin, the magnet, the T shirt, an invite to a local Toys R Us reopening block party. <laughs> no. <laughs> and you get to go to the Toys R Us <laughs> and a little tykes backyard makeover. I really like how there's the 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 bands are so wide there. So that's up yeah. to, up to two thousand two and what twenty four thousand yeah. dollars. Nine hundred ninety nine. Why wouldn't you just spend an extra dollar and get? A, a bumper sticker, a pin, a magnet, a T-shirt, an invite to a reopening block party, a tour of the Ohio Little Tykes factory, the oldest toy Little factory Tykes. currently operating in the US, including travel and accommodations oh, for one yes. for one pound more, one dollar more even. <laughs> what a bargain! Fifty grand to seventy-five grand. You get a bumper sticker, a pin, a magnet, a, a T-shirt, a personal block party for your friends and family, <laughs> including Little Tykes products, food, and all associated items. I don't know what Little Tykes food is, but I that imagine it's plastic. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't eat food. it. <laughs> right, you ready for a big jump in bandwidth here? Oh, it keeps yeah. going. 75k to 250k. <laughs> you get a bumper a sticker, dollars. a pin, a magnet, a t-shirt, an invite to a local block party, not your own one this no. time. You oh, lose what? that. And <laughs> attendance at a special taping of unboxed Whatever that is, and it includes travel and accommodations. If you spend five hundred thousand dollars, you get sectioned. <laughs> Are you ready for this next one? Because now it starts to get silly. Right. Two hundred and fifty k to a million dollars. Oh my god! You get a safe Toys R Us bumper sticker, <laughs> yes, a pin, a, a magnet, magnet, and I'll always be a Toys R Us kid T-shirt, an, an invite, invite to, to a, a local, local Toys R Us party. reopening block party, <laughs> and toys for five years from Toys R Us. Wow! I'm not confident it would ever stay open. No, now. yeah, that's such a strike. five years. Right, what? only only two tiers left. Oh, okay, and the bands are really going wild now. <laughs> One million. To $10 million! Oh! You get a hashtag safe Toys R Us bumper sticker, a pin, a magnet, and I'll always be a Toys R Us kid t-shirt, an invite, invite to, a to a local, local Toys, Toys R Us reopening, reopening block party, party, and a signed thank you letter from Isaac <laughs> Are you fucking CEO kidding? CEO of MGA Entertainment, and an I Helped Toys R Us hero plaque at a <laughs> Toys R Us location that's of for, your choosing. Oh Even though that's God, more stuff, that somehow seems worse than the previous one. It? You get to go to a secret unboxing taping For in the Breeders' Room. For seven digits, you get a thank you letter. <laughs> Finally, the final the final ba- band is ten million plus. Right. You get a hashtag Save Toys R Us bumper sticker pin, a, a, pin, magnet, a magnet, and I'll always be a Toys R Us kid T-shirt. Invite to a, a local, local Toys, Toys R Us reopening, reopening block, block party. party. A signed thank you letter from Isaac Larry and CEO of MGA Entertainment. A plaque. And kids, you C- don't get a plaque. Not well. We're getting there. Okay. This there's a lot on this one. And kid CEO for the day experience, including a trip to a Southern California theme park. Right. Not stated. 
uh, travel and accommodations, and Toys R Us store dedication naming rights for the location of your choosing, and Toys for Life from Toys R Us. Jesus. Can we call it Toys R Us Mc Toys R Us face? Uh, we could. The fine print does say, however, that he will ultimately decide which toys and how many you get. What? <laughs> here's, for life. here's a single this doll. Is such that's your bullshit. Allowance. This is the worst. Go that's amazing. Deal. We go back to a quote here from from the man himself, Isaac. Children need a place to play, he said. I can't imagine a world where that doesn't exist anymore. Right. Or why not spend a dollars? This what? guy has a very warped idea of what children playing is, I think. Yeah, they don't play at... Well, they do play at Toys R Us, but only because they're there and they've got toys I, in their hands. Yeah, hand. if you like, take them to a McDonald's, they'll play at McDonald's. They'll play at home. I get the feeling he's not in it for the kids, he's in it for the money. He's very much in it for the money. And, also and to I be the man who saves. And to be that Little Tykes isn't relevant yeah. anymore. Oh, shit, yeah. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that's the kind of business insight you can expect from a man who wants to raise a billion dollars in just over a month. And to be fair... He has managed to get two hundred million dollars, twenty six thousand, what two hundred thirty nine dollars in just two days. No way! That's, that's, but that's got to be fake. But a staggering two hundred million is from investors. Yeah, yeah of that course. he already knows. I Meaning yeah. he's only raised twenty six k, and at the time of recording, with one and a half months to go, he has seven hundred ninety nine million nine hundred seventy three thousand seven hundred sixty one dollars left to raise. Oh, he's almost there. Just keep hey pushing. guys, if you donate one dollar to Vidiots on yeah. Patreon, you well, won't get you can any dedicate benefits. Dedicate a Toys R Us plaque. <laughs> but yeah, we'll give you a pin, a magnet, no, we, no, an invite to no. a. No, we won't. No, we're not going to do any of that. <laughs> no, but Don't you're just—it's—it's it's a more sound investment than it is to yeah. gamble on Toys R Us. <laughs> Isaac Larian there. This is the kind of man who's so rich that like, he thinks a tin of beans costs $2,000. Yeah, he does. So he has no concept of what money really For, is. like, $75,000. You get the T-shirt. You get the buffies. <laughs> cr- people complain Kanye West's lining of, lines of clothes is expensive. Ugh. Look at this shit. This is guy, Isaac Larian. More like Isaac Dick. I've had a musical weekend. Okay. And I've made a song. Right. And is it, is, is it anything song. to do with your anecdote? It's not. No, it's totally unrelated. Time. It's just a song about my favourite thing. So um, okay. I'm going to get this loaded up. Is it Stoke on Trent? Oh, sadly not. Okay. I can't quite. You know, there's no point making a Stoke on Trent. I've been Trent all song. over this weekend, <laughs> but mostly I've been to Stoke on Trent. No, sadly, it's not quite that level of musical, but it's all right. So I'm going to plug it in. And you made this, did you? Yeah, yeah. I found a beat online. Okay. And I've. I uh, oh I've oh my it's a video. I've lost. I... Oh no. Enjoy. Okay, we've got a video that says dog. Is rap. this gonna work without We got that doggy shit not nah, I ain't talking sexual what? Walking round on all fours, they make me hit the floor. The floofers, the boofers, you know I'm talking what? about woofers. Woof woof, woof woof. <laughs> Bring it down. I see them almost every day. You know I stop and say, hey, if that owner gets in my way, there's gonna be a price to pay. Smack what? a bitch. Smack a bitch, smack a bitch. What? Michael! And I ain't talking about a female <laughs> dog. This one goes out to my boy Gabe. May he rest in peace. My heart hurt so much. I made a memorial quiche. Eggs, cheese. It was made to please and ease this sense of melancholy. I got a manifesto. I wanna be the first hoe. Hug and pet every dog on this planet called Earth. Left hand, right hand, left hand, give it a pet. <laughs> this boy feeling like a cloud. I love a pit bull. I ain't talking Mr. 305. Snoop Dogg's alright, but he's got nothing on the real deal. I love those little fluffy darling Pomeranians. They make me go super, super, super Saiyan. Y'all know what I'm saying. It's my dog rap. It's not dog crap. And this shit oh, slaps. Michael. I wanna go and make a documentary. Getting funded by the BBC. Release it on Gabe's anniversary <laughs> For the whole wide world to see So now I do decree They mean so much to me Just never watched 2008 film Molly oh, and me wow. Real dog shit 2018 This one goes out to my dog spot and fam Peace That's my thing <laughs> 
I had a fun weekend making that. Um, <laughs> Michael Johnson. Yeah, hi. Uh, please, it please, as if yeah. it wasn't like an open book already. But yeah. Please just, please just invite us into your brain <laughs> and talk us through what what possessed you to make that. I think that. it was four three a.m. on a Friday. Right. And I just got the idea in my brain. I want to write a rap. So Where start- did you get the track from? Um, that's Epidemic Music. <laughs> Okay. okay. How long did it take you to? I'm now talking to you like a concerned parent, and what, it's not intentional. But you I sound like concerned. a police negotiator trying to bring him down why, from a window. Why did you do Michael, it? how how long did it take you to write? That was maybe like an hour or two. Okay, so, so it's something like, you're very passionate. Yeah, about. and I sung some real time into this, okay. and I, I found the perfect beat. Chopped and changed it a bit. I didn't, you know, Gabe's Bork sound effect of, <laughs> so, and it does have. A video component. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You're not in it. No, no, it's just pictures of dogs and the lyrics. What more do you need? Right. Yeah. And where can people find that? Go on my Twitter. I'll post it at like 6pm today. Yeah, link dump and on my Twitter, at Paraboy, oh if you fancy watching that again. Michael. It wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't, I didn't plan for this, but it's perfectly two minutes, 20 seconds long. So it's right. perfect for Twitter. Total, oh, total chance. Ideal. My goodness. This is, um, I mean, of... I just, I just don't know what to say. Michael. <laughs> I am... Um, very impressed. Those Thank rhymes. You. Oh, I, I, I spit bars. And and the absolute chewed coming off you. No I, thing. I exude the chewed, my yeah. friend. No thing that any of us will ever bring along again. It's time to end the podcast. Again. Mm. We'll, we'll even match that level of creative... Uh, <laughs> I got very excited about that. I've been wanting to put that out for quite a few days. I mean, thought, you're no, I'll... physically shaking yes, holding I... <laughs> your phone for us to watch. That was just wonderful. Because I haven't made a song in many years. I used to be like quite a musical child. I'd sing shitty songs, but this is right. my first, you know, polished, fully fledged. <sighs> what a trip. Time to release an album, I think. And what's it called? Uh, dog Rap. Dog Rap. I was scared that's going to misread as Dog Rape, but no, it's it's Dog Rap. <laughs> I mean, now that you've said it, <laughs> it's again. a dog rap. It ain't no dog crap. That was great. Nice. Left hand. Nice. Right, right hand. hand. Left hand. Give it a pet. Cool. <laughs> Maybe I on the next dog, episode man. you could do. I miss my dog. We could do a live rap. We could do a live lounge. Oh, God. Yeah, freestyle. <laughs> Michael Johnson. Someone lay down a beat and I'll just spit some bars for everyone. Like Tim Westwood, but better. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for listening, everybody. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. And we respect you. Share it. Name my children, please. Name his children. Bye. Bye.